My character's name is Rachel Goldberg, and she is a producer of Everlasting, which is um, a dating reality competition show. And my job is to manipulate the contestants to get them to do whatever it is that we need them to do to get the footage to make the show. My boss, who tells me what to do, is this lady over here. That's right. Quinn King. Quinn King. <laughs> Take it away. Quinn King. No, yeah, so I play Quinn King, which is the director, producer of the reality show Everlasting, and my job is to manipulate her to manipulate them, so it makes me look good. <laughs> That's basically how it works. One of the things I did when I was working on like preparing to shoot the season um, was I got together with a few reality show producers to talk to them about what their experience was, how they sort of process their job, um, and it seemed to me that they didn't really have a lot of guilt about what they were doing to these people. Like when I asked them that question, they were actually sort of stunned and taken aback. So I was really um, conscientious of the fact that maybe my character was one of the only character that had like a strong conscience about things, and maybe she didn't want to show that necessarily to the rest of the producers. Um, and then in terms of like how you prepare for the character emotionally, there was a bit of a backstory. We flashed back to last season, so we knew where the characters were coming from and why the, where they were when they were starting the season off. And I'd spent a lot of time talking with Sarah Shapiro about the conflict that this character, Rachel Goldberg, had internally about you know how she's really good at doing something that actually really pains her on the inside and just exploring that kind of those feelings, like how it would feel to go through the day doing something that you're so good at that actually makes you hate yourself. Yeah, and it's, it's fascinating because we are both women that are so similar but at different places on our careers. Mm -hmm. And I think in preparing, it's hard to prepare for um, a storyline that we actually didn't even know where what our beginning, middle, and end was. So I think for me personally, it was about trying to make sure that I embody the character as somebody that we are gonna want to see the story through. So you see it through the eyes of Rachel Goldberg, you see it through the eyes of Quinn, you see it through the eyes of the contestants, and all of us have our own reasons for what we're doing and how we're doing it. So I just wanted her to be rooted in in truth and for me I thought if I just keep her truthful and honest the stuff that they wrote for us kind of sold itself mm -hmm. which is I haven't had that very often on a show especially women female characters and given us so many layers so it was fun to kind of unearth those layers as the episodes kept coming. Well, I think you kind of take it scene by scene, really. If I'm in a scene where I'm manipulating a contestant and it's something that Rachel's actually really good at, I allowed myself to play it as well as I possibly could. And then in the scenes where you see the conflict, I play the conflict, I pay the hate. Um, and you just kind of have to take it scene by scene. I mean, there's certain moments where like, I'm in a scene with a contestant and everything's going well, and then she walks away and then you can like let the mask down. So it's really kind of like picking and choosing the moments where you're showing the other sides of the coin. One hundred percent, and you will see that as the series goes on, which was one of the most exciting reasons why I wanted to do the show is because I didn't want to play just that. I want the audience to see where that comes from, how that has happened, and how she exists in that world. But when she goes home, if she does ever go home, that... <laughs> does she have a home? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't know. Yeah. But um, it's... You know, I struggled with it as an actor every day. I was concerned that I was too mean or that people were going to hate me. And it's funny, in watching the show, I actually now realize I could have been meaner, mm. which is a fascinating thing as an actor to watch when I was the one struggling with it on the inside. And every day I would call Sarah and I would talk to Nina Lederman at Lifetime and I'd say, are you sure? Are you sure? Because I really, I want this character to be someone that we can all identify with. In a way, all of these women on this show are incredibly layered, broken characters. And they're women, and we have not seen that. 
And I think everyone on the show, all the actresses, everybody was 100% committed to their story of their character. And I think it makes for such an incredibly well-rounded show. Mm -hmm. So yes, you will see inside all of them and see that they are all broken and all of them are just as evil as the next person. Some of them just don't show it. See, at least mine is out there. You got that, you get it right from the get go. <laughs> I'm not hiding it. No. <laughs> We shot the first episode and then the second episode as standalone episodes, but then moving forward through the rest of the season, we shot two episodes at a time. So we cross-boarded, which is, you know, definitely has its challenges, but makes it easier for production. Um, so we were getting maybe episode three, episode three maybe a week and a half before we shot it, and episode four maybe a one or two days before we shot it. You know, the challenge of shooting two episodes at a time for an actor is trying to keep the story straight, mm -hmm. especially when you have episodes that are as jam-packed as these are. You've got a lot of story going on, um, and so just having to remember, like, what episode am I in? What's just happened? Where am I coming from? Right, who do I like today? Who do I not like tomorrow? It was much more challenging. <laughs> it was much more challenging than we probably had anticipated. But, you know, like, checking in, and it really ended up coming down to, like, the relationship like more so than like the actual bullet points of what's happening story-wise. It's like, where are we in our emotional arc? Where are we in our relationship? And sort of allowing that to carry you through during shooting. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we had, so we would have one director for, you know, almost three and a half to four weeks to shoot the two episodes at one time. Mm -hmm. I've never shot a show, a cross-boarding a show. Um, so it was the very first time that I had ever done it. Um, and it, I think it was incredibly challenging. I've done it before on other shows and it's it's it is definitely challenging. I think this show in particular was more challenging because we have 10 episodes to tell so many people's stories. Mm -hmm. So the crossboarding was so stacked, you know, on, on a few of my other shows when we do cross-boarding, your characters are kind of staying the same. Mm -hmm. Whereas ours, every single episode, they're changing, they're shifting, they're getting worse, they're getting better, they're breaking down, they're standing their ground. So I definitely think in this forum and on this show in particular, it was the most challenging because they're always changing all the time. I had to remember, was I just nice to you or was I not nice yeah, to like, you? Like, what did I just Did do we bond or were we not yeah. bonding? Like, <laughs> I said, because in this scene, it will be, it'll be so different than if we weren't or we not. And the same thing, like dealing with the contestants, you, you know, you really had to stay on top of what's happening. Uh, but it's great. I think it also makes for the franticness. Frenetic energy, which is really what goes on behind the scenes. It's got this really crazy high pace. Yeah feel to it when you're making a television show and we definitely had that and it spilled through I think on camera.